Hey, good afternoon, guys. I wanted to give you a Friday video since I'm here after school and I'm getting paid on the clock to film, sort of. Um, the after school program kids came in. We couldn't fly the drone. I'd have instructions, and I'm not about to pay 20 bucks to fly a $10 drone. So, skipping that news and getting into this, this is the Eldar lot that I was talking about yesterday that's going up on eBay. Um, it's four Vipers, 20 bikes, one of the bikes is at home, 15 race guard with three wave serpents, two purple, and the gray one down there. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six wave serpents. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six wave serpents, 20 bikes, but ton of fire dragons. They're going to ride in three of the... Um, Falcon Grav tanks for the formation and the drop team. I have Warlocks, more Dragons at home. I have um, Howling Banshees and Dark Reapers at home. I already got rid of all the um, Warp Spiders. For those of you building that 45 Warp Dragon formation, please, please, from me to you, please post the bat rep. I want to see how nasty it is. So. This is stuff that was done over the past couple years in the classroom. A young lady helped me out with the bikes. And most of that today was all about the emblem. Well, this week was all about the emblems on the Warlock squad. That way I could differentiate them. Because so I have a three-man squad here, three-man squad here, three-man squad there. I might order some extra bikes or get a box just to give each squad a Warlock. Like I said, the mechanics of Eldar do not appease me. I'm just going to say it plain. Yes, the Wraith Knights are an awesome model. I painted seven of them. Um, I'll have to make a video out of all the old pictures of the ones that I've done previous. I'm just going to be honest. I have no interest in learning psychic powers, phases, or tricks. Mainly, I got the Eldar as a, oh, I have something else to paint when I run out of cow. And now that I have so much LR, it's like, I'm never going to play them. I built them as a deterrent for Apocalypse, just to have an LR backup force to fight against psychic powers. Because cows suck against psychic powers, and that was the plan. However, I wanted to go slowly over this vendetta. I had kids help me with the work um, for the digital camo. And it came out gorgeously. I'm very happy with the work. Now, originally this was a pickup and trade, so the cockpit sucks, and that was the previous owner. Not me, not the kids. So right now, I have this double fishing hammerhead I got to plan out the paint scheme for. The two piranhas came out gorgeously with the digital camo. A little bit closer, you can see the shadows and effects. Five different greens and grays. The broadsides are base coated. The flyer, the storm raven's coming along great. I got the other parts in, the bit spin, so I just got to get them painted and primed and added. So I'm going to do one this way, and I'm going to do the other two different ways to finish them off. What you hear in the background is a sonic cleaner. Um, this is the last broadside. He's prime black, missing an arm, so I didn't want to start painting him yet till I found the arm. And in the bottom of the bin, which I'm very happy with, I have to figure out how I'm going to paint them. I'm not taking them home. Apparently, I'm going to Houston this weekend. All of a sudden, to go visit family. So, one, two, three, four. I got my other two squads of Pathfinders. So, I can run out of formation. That's in the new tile codex. Where if you lose something, everything else comes in. Again, today's been pretty good. This is bins and bins of drones. Awesomeness. So, apparently, I have 27 gun drones. And I'm lying because there's 28 here. He got to get in his bag. I have two missile drones, another shield, another marker. And then in one bag, I had 20 missing one. Found him. So, with the happiness and humor, which is that, um, today's been pretty quiet at work. Said drone, that no instructions were given, so no drone was flown today. The awesome part is that I can give it back, and I didn't get in trouble, and I got paid for it. So, with that being said, it's awesome.
excuse me a second. I'm going to pause this. All right, I'm back. So really quickly, to update you on the humor, which is Metairie Squadron, I have 21 shield drones, because I just found an extra one. I have 28 gun drones. I have 18 marker drones. And then in your bag, it's everything that's already painted. It's 20, so I'm way into my 70s of gun drones, or drone-esque units. I have a challenge game from a local buddy of mine named Frank, who wants to go ahead and do a nasty, interesting, I'm looking forward to it, um, Gunts versus Drones battle. The structure that we've been kicking around online in our Facebook group also, if you want to join the Facebook group, shoot me a message, post in comments, let me know, or how to contact you on Facebook, and I can go ahead and add you. The only thing I'm taking home today is my airbrush, my HP M1 Iwata, because if it gets broken or stolen, I'm really hosed because it took six weeks to get from Japan. But um, the idea we're kicking around is one monster creature, one HQ, one troop unit. Since he's running bugs, he needs more than one troop unit for a synapse. So my count as troops for the battle will be drones, because this is a drone outpost. So I have a drone commander, crisis suit, HQ, and his bodyguards that also have drone controller that will be assisting in said battle. So when I get more information, I'll post the link. I'll put it on Google Docs so you can download it and you can try it out yourselves. But other than that, you guys have been awesome this week. I love the comments. Comments keep me inspired to continue what I'm doing. Kids like airbrushing sometimes, but they make such a mess and don't want to clean. Anyway, I don't have kids yet, so that's why I'm complaining about the kids. So, you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week.